Hey babes, what's up and welcome back. My name is Carissa, if you're new and I'm so happy you stumbled across this video today. Aritzia is hands down one of my favorite places to shop and I know it is one of my subscribers' favorite places to shop as well. So I'd love to show you all what I pick up every single time I place an order because I know you want to see it. So I placed another massive order on their website for some fall and winter clothing. Of course, tons of the classics like tees and sweaters, but I also picked up a couple of their wool coats to try out too. I'm so excited. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into it. If you want to see everything that I got, what it all looks like on, my thoughts on it all, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start things off with an absolute staple of mine. This is the Bliss Tea. If you have never tried out the Bliss Tea, just stop the video right now and go run and try this on. You guys are absolutely going to love this. This has been a staple of mine for a couple of years now. I have the short sleeve in a ton of colors and with it starting to get colder, I realized that I didn't have just a classic black in the long sleeve version of this So I took this as the opportunity to finally get it There's a few reasons why this is just one of my favorite tees first. It is so incredibly soft It has this sleek soft feeling to it. It is also a baby rib. It's form-fitting I love the cropped length on it personally. The neckline is great It's always just so comfortable to wear and it's that tee that I just gravitate towards all the time when I want just like a simple basic tee. It does have a ton of stretch in it and for that reason I get it in my normal size. I'm an extra extra small. So incredibly happy with this. However, I realized that they just came out with them in like a longer version. It is called their hip length version. So if you've always wanted the Bliss Tee, but you didn't really want it in a crop, here you go. You have a full length option now. What I like about this is that it's not too long. It really does come to like my waist or my hips, but it also has like a curved hem to it too. Oh, it's so classic. So you can definitely wear it as is untucked or you can tuck it. It's really easy to tuck and it stays tucked as well. Everything about it is exactly the same that I love about the Bliss Tee, just obviously longer. So I got it in black. I also got it in white. The white or like the lighter colors, it is a little bit thin, quote unquote, a little bit see-through, but I find that if I pair it with a skin color bralette, it's totally fine. It works. I don't have any problems with it at all. And then in these, I also got them in an extra extra small, kind of along the same lines as the Bliss Tee. This is the Freshman Cross turtleneck I believe that's what it's called and you guys it feels exactly like the blisty like I am so excited it's the same softness it's the same like micro rib to it and not to mention I got it in this mocha brown color which is just so gorgeous as well this is cropped they do have a longer version in this one too which is really great for those that don't want something cropped but yeah I just really needed to stock up on some basic like simple turtlenecks because I love the look of turtlenecks turtlenecks with the wool coats or with blazers and stuff for the fall time and realized apart from turtleneck sweaters I didn't have any just basic turtleneck tees. So here's to starting to stock up because this is a total gateway. Love this so much and the fact that I was super shocked that it was the same feeling as the Bliss tee. I'm absolutely going back and getting this in more like staple colors. So moving on to the sweater section the first one I wanted to start off with is this one that is called the Harper sweater. I love the color of this and I also loved how this style looked on the model. It has a drop shoulder and a semi cropped fit to it so it was just totally in line with the typical sweater that I love to get. I'm always on the hunt for those sweaters that you just throw on and go and you just look so good. Does that even make sense? I feel like I have this vision in my mind and this on the model it looked like it would meet it. It's not a heavy sweater and I feel like it really forms and flows with your body. However, it definitely feels like it can pack a punch with the warmth. It does have this thick yarn to it, but it does feel slightly itchy. But you guys know by now, my skin level of sensitivity to sweaters is quite high. So I bet the standard person might not find this itchy, but of course just wanna throw out the warning for you guys. I think it's so funny that I always gravitate towards sweaters that have a mock neck or a turtleneck to it because I don't feel like they always look good on me, but it's like I can't stop 
buying them and trying them out it's kind of funny but anyways any sort of bottom would work with this if you want to do a skirt jeans trousers leather pants and pair it with a jacket over top it looks so good for the season next sweater is the scotty turtleneck and you guys this is extremely close to the same silhouette as the last sweater the only difference is the mock neck on this one is a little bit tighter than the last and the material of this is extremely soft it is an organic cotton the color is whisper white which is really pretty but yes it does have a drop shoulder and it has a slight crop to it too really good length you can do like a little french tuck with it really warm and just overall a really classic sweater this one also comes in a few colors okay i wasn't expecting to be as obsessed with this sweater as i am they have this in a longer version which i've tried before but i just wasn't in love with it it was too big on me too oversized and of course they go and come out with it in a waist length option so my hopes weren't high but i was absolutely intrigued enough that i had to get it and once i put it on you guys i just fell in love with it it's so incredibly soft and it has this thick yarn look i love how the neckline lays when you put this on oh you guys it just looks and feels so luxe it doesn't get better than this it has the perfect amount of crop to it too it sits exactly where i like my sweaters to sit so definitely a home run in my book i'm really glad that i ended up picking it up my only wish is that they came out with this in more colors like i would love like a gray taupish color that would be amazing next one up is the society sweater it is a shirt jacket but i'm gonna go ahead and include it in this category with the sweaters just given the material of it so it is a knit material shirt jacket i really 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 wanted this to work out for me for one this camel color is gorgeous and they have other perfect color options in this also i really loved that it was a knit it's lightweight yet has some weight to it it's very chic and extremely perfect for a more elevated look exactly the type of shirt jacket that was missing from my wardrobe currently so honestly i cannot say enough good things about this and the quality of this it just feels so luxe but it's just so long for my petite frame i really wish that they came out in this for petites so if you're tall get this because you're gonna love it next category we are getting in to sweater dresses i have two sweater dresses to share with you in this category but okay sweater dresses are really hard for me first of all i'm petite so the sweater dresses that i get are usually too long they're too boxy or then they end up being too tight so i've never found the perfect one i think until now which i feel like is a huge accomplishment at the moment so here she is first of all the length of this is absolutely perfection for petites if you're tall i would be concerned that this one would end up being too short for you but petites we found it here she is I also feel like this is the right amount of fitted yet oversized. It doesn't form too close to my body, but it's also not too boxy and too big or overwhelming. It also has this incredibly soft yarn. It's thick, yet it just moves with your body. Ugh, you guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. My only complaint is that this is only in two colors. Like Aritzia, you absolutely need to come out with this in all the colors <laughs> this next sweater dress is another really great option but this one has a turtleneck this has the exact same material and feel as the last one and i'm also obsessed with this color like come on this is exactly the color i would like the other one to come out in so good i should also mention that the sleeves on this are a really good length too they're not too long so it doesn't bunch up too much but i would say the difference between the two of these is i do feel like this one is a little bit Bit longer so if you are tall this one would work for you but also if you just prefer longer sweater dresses this is a really good option compared to the last one so yeah really excited about these and both of these I got in the exact same size I got them in an extra extra small okay I'm so happy we are getting in to wool coats I have two that I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys and I'm so excited so the first one is the only mid coats and you guys I think I found my perfect wool coat finally it's another one of those Goldilocks situations that I was just explaining with the sweater dresses and I already went back and ordered this in two more colors that's how great it really is so like I said this is the only mid coat they do have this in a longer option but the mid just hits me in the absolute 
absolute perfect spot. At the time that I ordered this, the only color available in my size was this one that is called Burnt Cedar. And the name of the color didn't necessarily match with the color of the picture with the model wearing it. I ordered it anyways, and I was expecting this color to be more like orange or yellow, just based off of the name. But I'm so incredibly happy that it actually looks more like the picture. It is definitely more of like a neutral brown. So figured I would mention that. Seriously, I think it was a bad name choice. <laughs> so more on this coat, it is 100% wool, but it is a cashmere wool. So with wool typically comes like itchy for me, but this is not itchy at all. And if it was to be itchy, none of the wool touches my body. So it wouldn't actually bother me at all because this is fully lined. It has like some really good weight to it. It is like superb quality. I'm really impressed with the overall look, the stitching, like everything about this coat. So definitely will provide me with that warmth for the fall time, but also definitely for the winter time. I can even layer underneath it because it has like a slight oversized look to it. So it'll allow for the extra room of sweaters in it without being like too bulky too. You guys, so excited. It's my perfect wool coat. <laughs> the next one is the new Stedman coat and this is in an extra extra small and the last one was also in an extra extra small just to mention it. This is another really great wool coat option. It has a very similar silhouette to the last one. This one is longer and a little less oversized I would say. It still has a single button and the collar look is the same. The lines on this coat are just so clean. The fabric is heavy but it's not overwhelming. The quality and the stitching and design are just so freaking worth it. This is a 100% wool so it does have like a slight itch to it but similar to my sediment as the last one this one is also fully lined so the wool doesn't really touch me especially if you're wearing like a turtleneck or long sleeve stuff underneath like you're totally set but it really is just like the perfect wool coats and if you're ready to make the investment into one I would highly recommend one of these two options last but certainly not least I did get one pair of pants in my last Aritzia haul I got these pants. They're the command pant in black and they are absolute perfection. I've been dying to get them in another color and I'm really obsessed with Aritzia's matte pearl color which is this color right here. It's kind of like a creamy white, a little bit more of like an off-white but it's really just like that perfect neutral tone that pairs so well with other colors and size-wise I get these in a double zero regular length inseam. I could opt for like the short inseam option because I am 5'1 but I prefer my pants to be more like full length versus like ankle length. Just my preference. I feel like it makes me look taller. The quality of these is so impressive. For one, they feel higher quality than the Molinas, but also fit wise, they fit so much better than the Molinas as well. The waist fits so good without squishing my butt. That's a major issue I have with Molinas is that I have major waist gaping and then it also squishes my butt. And I also like the cuts on the pockets in the front and the back with these. It looks more like a trouser. They look just so luxe and the fit of them is impeccable. So if you were in a similar position to me with the Molinas, they didn't work for size reasons or waist keeping reasons and you really want a solid vegan leather pant option, absolutely get these guys. You are going to love them. I highly, highly recommend these and it comes in so many color options too. All right, you guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you in today's Aritzia haul video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you are liking this video. If you wanna shop or look at anything I mentioned throughout this video, I will include all the links down below, including the name of the item, the size, the color I got. Also include my size measurements as a guide for you guys. Before you click out of this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to help support me and support this channel. Also feel free to give me a follow over on Instagram at I am Carissa Renee for more outfit inspo. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great week, and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. I love you guys so much. Mwah.